Hey everyone, another upload so soon? <laughs> yeah, I know, what's this? I didn't plan on uploading again this early, but I came across something that I find kind of disturbing. It's not surprising, it's just sad. And this title isn't clickbait. The topic of this video is going to be that Disney issued a copyright claim on a Star Wars fan film. Copy striking. You know, that thing where people can just go around and copyright someone for work that they didn't even have a right to claim. So this story is all over the internet, but at the same time, I feel like not enough know about this. In this video, I'm not going to be showing any Star Wars clips or any sort of image from this franchise that I didn't create because I honestly have no idea what lengths they will go to to claim a video, and I just got monetized, so I want to keep a relatively good standing. So if I do need an image to prove my point, I'll just do an MS Paint drawing. So let's get right into the noose. A channel named Star Wars Theory uploaded a Vader fan film that I found was absolutely fantastic, and I recommend that you go check it out if Star Wars is your thing. I don't think it'll disappoint you like some <clears throat> other movies. In 2018, this film was announced and Star Wars Theory got the okay from Lucasfilm to go make the movie. The only thing was that this fan film was not to be monetized and it could not be crowdfunded, so Star Wars Theory went forth and spent mass amounts of money to create this. Then after uploading it, Disney swoops in like a hawk with a copyright strike. Now this strike was for music, and we know how music copyright claims usually go. If you use 20 seconds of a Katy Perry song as background music, no matter how terrible it may be, you're done. Copyright striked, absolutely done. So we know that using a direct song in a video often is copyright claimed because they made the music and you didn't, but in this instance, with the fan film, the song was not even composed by Disney. Star Wars Theory hired a composer to make original music for the fan film, and this music was inspired off of Star Wars, not taken from Star Wars. The claim said that the music in question sounded too similar to the Imperial March. Not that it was the Imperial March, it sounded too similar. And just to provide some context for people who really don't know anything about Star Wars, this is the song that plays when Darth Vader shows up. So Disney and Warner Chapel Publishing claimed this entire video and monetized the entire thing over a brief audio segment that was an original composition that was simply inspired. A bunch of drama happened and fans were talking about boycotting Disney and Star Wars Episode 9 after this fiasco. I now would say that I'm probably not going to support Disney in terms of buying their films or seeing films in theaters for the next little bit. One person not watching doesn't do anything, I know this, but I would just feel better not supporting it. So after a bunch of stuff went down, eventually Lucasfilms actually came in and lifted the claim. So now you can go watch the fan film and you don't have to worry about Disney profiting from ad revenue. But how much did Disney make while the video was monetized? $80,000. Just a mere $80,000. Off of someone else's work. I mean, could you imagine that? Disney too. Huge mega corporation Disney needed to get that extra 80000 in by monetizing another dude's video. To show how ridiculous this is, here's an example. Let's say you're a Minecraft Let's Player and you scream, Oh no, there goes my children, in a game while looking at eggs. Super hilarious, I know. And then you upload this video. You then see another Let's Player with a smaller platform than you, and they say in their video, After a long court battle, I lost custody over the eggs. This is a terrible example, but you get it. One line is clearly better than the other. The small platform one has a much better line. Then you look at it and say, Hey, this video is seven minutes long. But this person said a three second long line that sounded just like the one that I said. Huh. Copy strike him. That's hardly an exaggeration of what happened. Copyright claiming people on YouTube has gotten completely out of hand. Just search on YouTube, YouTuber copyright striked me or something like that. I mean, this guy named Smelly Octopus, I love the name, got copyright claimed for his voice. Could you imagine you get like copyright claimed for breathing? <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen soon. The system is completely broken. Many content creators have just been reporting that their content has been claimed by a company or a huge YouTuber, and this is usually on the assumption that the person wants to make a load of profit or that they just don't agree with the content in the video. I know this isn't my typical upload at all, I just thought that this was important to talk about because it bothers me that people who follow fair usage guidelines will still get copyright claims that can affect their channel standing, income, or just liveliness. I think it's time for a change on YouTube, but the question really is, when will that change be? Will it ever come? Who knows, I mean, if a new system was implemented, it could actually be worse than this one. Doubt that would happen as you can't go deeper than rock bottom, but who knows. If any of you have any ideas for what would be a really good implementation to the copyright system, you can go comment it. I just like reading people's ideas on different things. Like, I like looking at different viewpoints and I like looking at different solutions to problems, so I'd be really curious to see if you guys have any ideas. Now, 
the main content part of this video is done. So I want to test something out. Can I get copyright claim by Disney for visiting Minecraft Disney World? Let's find out. Hey, what's up guys? Jojo Siwa here. Today we're at the Magic Kingdom Castle and we have Disney doing a very questionable pose and uh, as well as a baby Mickey Mouse. I don't own that character. I do not own the rights to that man. So uh, I think I'm gonna get copy striped. I didn't build that castle in Minecraft, nor did Disney, but that doesn't stop them. Let's see what we got over here. A couple monuments of me. I love it. Honestly, the best thing to come from today. I don't own the moon, but Disney Pixar Toy Story Buzz Lightyear went to the moon, or he's like a space thingy, so there, that is, there's that. I'm at the Splash Mountain ride, and uh, the word splash, not claimed by anyone, and the word mountain is free real estate as well. But if you say Splash Mountain, then you have a lawsuit on your hands. And that's that. I don't know if this is a Minecraft video anymore, or what this is. Anyway, um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my god, I a copy strike. Uh, thank you for watching my tutorial on how to get your channel taken down. I hope it has helped many of you achieve your dreams and goals. And I hope you all have a good day.